One of those decorating jobs, and you're thinking, do I need to fill those hairline cracks? And oh, it'd be such a hassle. Why don't I just paint over the top and it'll look great? Well, I turn to an expert who will advise you that actually it's preparation, preparation, preparation. Stephen, good to Hello, see you. Hello, Simon, good to see you again. Because you're the man that they call in to fix those yes. little jobs, those things that they just don't know where to start. A lot of painting and decorating. A lot of well. painting and decorating. And it is preparation, preparation, preparation. Absolutely, and often that can take more time than the painting itself. Absolutely. But I'm going to tell you about this new filler in an aerosol. Spray-on polyfiller. Yeah. Spray-on polyfiller. This stuff, two of them, and it is by the big guys, it is by Polycell, it is polyfiller, but you spray it into the cracks. Now you're thinking, hang on a second, that's too good to be true. <laughs> it works. It sold so quickly last time we had it, and people have loved it. You would walk straight past into the DOI shed because you don't know what it does. We'll show you. Yes. Now, uh, fillers, of course, start off with powder back in the day, and yeah. then you get the ready done ones. Yeah, but they always go dry too they quickly. They always go dry. The powder, you too much water, add yeah. a bit more powder, too yeah. dry. And powder everywhere. Yeah, exactly. These... And you always make too much. You always, you always make, make throwaway yeah, half. And yeah. the throwaway the container yeah. as well. Now, I'm going to get Simon Cam on this because I want to show you what you, happens. You have to see this to believe. Now, imagine you've got a, a painted wall mm -hmm. and you've got those cracks. You'll get settlement cracks, particularly if you're in a new property. So I'm going to give this a good shake and spray it on. And look at that. It's bubbling up. Now, the thing about this filler is it has very, very... Just have a look. What you're seeing is it all bubbles. And as Stephen smooths across... That's it. It's filled that crack. You take off the excess, because yep. you're, you're quite generous there. You don't need a lot. And then you have to wait until tomorrow for it to dry. Yeah. No. How long do you have to wait before you paint over that? Two minutes. Let's do it. Two minutes. Let's do a bit down here. I'll spray that on. Actually, just look at that. It just, you spray on it and it sort of bubbles up and it kind of expands to fill the gap. And you can use your, you use a, a pallet knife, a filling knife to get it absolutely smooth. Now it's obviously, it's quite difficult to show how smooth that is, but let's go. Well, we'll give it a few minutes to dry yeah. and then we'll, we'll show you. Let's go onto this plain wall here now. You know what, it's like a plastered wall. Yeah. It's had a coat of emulsion and you can really see where somebody's walked down it with one of their jean studs or the kids have dragged a pencil down it. The other like thing as well, imagine you've put a picture up, you've taken the picture away and you want to fill in a little tiny hole. No problem, let's just spray this on, let it work. And again, using a, a Using a, a knife or a, a filling blade, we can just put that on there and it will give a very, very smooth finish. In fact, when I've been using this at home, the finish is even smoother than the wall to Was start to, with. So you don't need to sand. You don't need to So there's to no sand. dust on the skirting no board. Dust. There's no Imagine dust on the carpet. Just, and the other good thing as well, because it's so instant, you've just painted your skirting boards, you're now moving onto the wall. Oh, I missed a bit. Of the, uh, the you, you don't need to worry about creating dust on paint you've just done. If you've painted to here and you spot another hole that you've missed, uh, yeah. you just Could do it start straight again. away. Why There's 150 it? people on the telephone lines. You will love this. Everyone who bought it in the past was just amazed when they saw the demonstrations, and you can try it in your own home. I was just thinking, Artex, you know, the textured surfaces, yes. you can't sand. You can't sand those. Will it work and with this? It will do. The other thing, of course, if you use a conventional filler, if you've got a gouge in the Artex, mm -hmm. you can't use a can't, conventional filler no. because you can't... You can't match you it. You can't match it up. What we can do with this amazing polyfiller spray, spray it on. And you just give it a shake every now and then to keep... And then you see what it does is it kind of... It starts to expand and fill. And all, you just use a cloth. Use a cloth. You can't use a, a, a blade for this because it will, it will, it will make it flat. But you, you, this takes a little bit more time and care, but you can actually get a really nice finish. Now, the way I, I, I try to get... Yeah, it's just disappearing it. I tried to, get my, tried to get my head around how this works so well. And the only way I can describe it to you, Simon, the particles in this filler, in this spray, are absolutely tiny. Yep. If you imagine a normal filler spray, something like semolina, this is talcum powder. The particles are very, ah. very small. Glass bead technology. So it's the, it's the hairline cracks that you yes. can never fill unless you gouge them out first. Yeah. These now, will fill. Th this will only do small, uh, small things. If you've got a huge, great crack, the other, the other type of fillers still have their, their yeah. place. Now, one other thing before I forget to mention it. If you open a normal packet of filler, yeah. it can perhaps start to go off. Yeah. And then you come back to it nine months later when you want to paint the dining room mm. and it's gone off and you have to throw it away. With this, you just turn it upside down, spray it till the accelerant comes through, just wipe it off. And then it's ready to go the next time. And that's good to go. Put it in your cupboard and that will be fine 
until the can runs out. Uh, by the way, the, the stock that we had in the warehouse is already sold out. So no more calls for the existing stock, but we do have some on advanced orders. It will come out very soon because it's coming out to you the week commencing the 5th of August. And of course, you won't be charged anything until it comes out. And then you can put it to the test. The day it arrives, you've got a 30 day money back guarantee to try it uh, on your walls, on your ceilings. Now, we've probably had a couple of minutes. I was just going to say, should we get some dry. paint out? Let me... well, let's see what it's like, because there were a few cracks that you didn't fill and there were a couple of cracks that you yep. filled in seconds. And let's to be honest, not taking a lot of care over it. So let's just let's get the paint to work out. That's a dark colour that shows up the cracks. Yeah, I, I've done this so you can see the bit I so filled the crack versus that the bit wasn't I filled. Because it as as it, I can't describe to you amazingly how that is so smooth. Yeah. It's it's gone. It's gone completely. And typically, if you've got a very, very tiny crack, if you try and use a conventional filler, the crack is often too small and you have to gouge it out to make it worse before you can make it better. So, can... so instantly, as, as instant as a filler can be, you had to wait two or three minutes before yeah. you could paint. So maybe you've done all the preparation and you've done all the hard yeah. filling and the big gouges and everything with the, the normal paste. And then you think, oh, look at those hairline cracks. Yeah. Look just where the ceiling joins the wall. Yeah. There's always a little crack there. Especially if you've got a new house. New mm, houses settle. settle. They have lots dry of cracks. out. Yeah, and you think we've had this very hot weather recently. Things expand, contract, expand, contract. You will get hairline cracks. If you've been banging around on your ceiling upstairs, thud, mm. you've been moving furniture, the kids are jumping up and down on the bed, you'll get a crack in your ceiling. This will be a, a superb item for that. The advanced orders are now limited in stock, which means 90% of those have been spoken for by other people. You get two cans, and by the way, they do last and last and last. It's not like an open pot or a packet of powder that if it gets slightly damp, starts to go lumpy. These last really well. So when you need that quick spray, and if you've got white walls, you don't even need to paint afterwards. This just sprays on, you wipe it off or smooth it off with a filling knife and you're done. No sanding. It takes three minutes before you can paint. And like you said, Simon, That's you can cool. paint it the same day. You don't have to come back. You don't have to come back the next I know. day. I mean, it's just a genius idea. Genius because it comes from the greats. Polycell and they've made it so that it works. As a concept, great idea, but as a concept that actually works as well as it says on the can, now, that's a joy, isn't it? And you can order it from QVC. Stephen, thank you ever so much. No problem, You Simon. appear on some of our helpful videos, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. Yeah, OK, go to qvcuk.com. You can see Stephen in action. He's a professional. He'll help you through. Go to the DIY section, then go to what's hot on the left-hand side. Look at Simon Biaggi, DIY projects with Simon Biaggi. All sorts of videos for all sorts of things. So if you need help, we're here, night and day, seven days a week. And that's the way DIY and QVC should be. Uh, all sorts of things to come, by the way. And I'm looking over there. We've got some great battery-operated tools that will do all sorts of different jobs. But uh, those polycell spray-on polyfiller cans will be disappearing very, very fast. So grab yours while you can. There's lots to come here on DIY Projects with me, Simon. I'll be back in a moment.